Hey everyone, Houston Math Prep here. We're going to walk you through graphing horizontal and vertical lines today. So we've set up uh, instructions here to graph x equals 3. Uh, so I have my little grid of x and y axes over here, uh, x axis being horizontal, y being the vertical axis. So when we just have one variable equal to a number, like x equals 3, the way we'll graph that line is simply to say it's going to cut through that axis at that number and it's only going to cut through that axis. So when I look at this, it's going to cut through the x-axis at 3, and it's not going to cut through the y-axis. So if it cuts through the x-axis at positive 3, that would be 3 to the right of the origin. So it's going to cut through right there. And if it's not ever going to cut through the y-axis, then that means that it must be a vertical line, because if it was not vertical, then it would at some point, either way down low or way up high, it would cross through the y-axis. So we'll have a vertical line that goes through 3, and that's our graph of x equals 3. If we look at the next one, here we have y equals 5. So that's going to only cross through the y-axis at the value 5. So if I have x-axis here and y-axis here, then it's going to cross y at 5. So I count up 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So positive 5 is here, and it will cross through that axis there. It will not cross the x-axis. So that makes it a horizontal line if it's only crossing x or only crossing y, and it's never going to cross x. So we will get a line for y equals 5 that looks like that. For the next one, x equals negative 6, so now negative as far as the x-axis goes means that's to the left of the origin. So I would count over to the left 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it's going to go through the x-axis only, and it's going to go through the x-axis at negative 6. So that's going to be a vertical line that only cuts through the x-axis. Okay, and next, y equals negative 4. So here we're going to be cutting through the y-axis only at negative 4. So, and remember on the y-axis, negative numbers are down, so I go down from the origin. 1, 2, 3, 4. Crossing here only through y will make that a horizontal line. Going through negative 4, we will have a line that looks something like that. Here's a graph x equals 0. So x equals 0 is pretty simple, but sometimes it's so easy that things seem complicated, right? So x equals 0, the positive numbers are to the right, the negative numbers are to the left. So x equals 0 is actually right here on the x-axis. And if I'm only cutting through the x-axis, then what that really is doing is it's giving me this vertical line here through x equals 0, and this is actually the y-axis. So I'm going to make a note of that. If you have x equals 0, that's actually the y-axis. They are the same thing. Similarly then, if we look at graphing the equation y equals 0, so here's my x and my y. So y, if I go up, that's positive. If I go down, that's negative. So at the origin, that's where y is 0 right there on the y-axis. And if I cut through y, what we might say perpendicular, cut through y, then that's going to give us a horizontal line. So that's basically going to give us the x-axis, right? So y equals 0 is the same as the x-axis. Uh, we can also remember so that any sort of y equals a number, that's going to be horizontal. Uh, and if we have x equals some number, then that's going to be a vertical line.